Today we look at a very interesting medication called EU Creas. EU Creas. That is a vildagliptin plus a metformin. We know gliptins, the vildagliptin. These are belonging to the gliptins, or we we call it DPP4 inhibitors. We know the abbreviation or the acronym that I use mostly, VALS. So V A L S S. That is a vildagliptin, alogliptin, linagliptin. Then we have citagliptin and saxagliptin. And this is uh, the vildagliptin type of the DPP-4 and we, we combine it together with our most preferred medication of diabetes which is a metformin and these two together will cause an eucreas and the eucreas will have a dose of 50 milligram forward slash 800 milligram of metformin or 1000 milligram of metformin so we have 50 milligram of vildagliptin forward slash 850 milligram of metformin or 1000 milligram of metformin. This is the dose and we give it usually two times daily in the morning and in the evening and this is by normal people because there are uh, patients or people who have kidney insufficiency meaning that they have a GFR which is the flow through the kidneys which is less than 45 milliliter per minute and if we have less than that we need to reduce the dose and then instead of giving it in the morning and evening two times daily we only give it in the morning so we have a 50 milligram of vildagliptin forward slash a thousand milligram of metformin once daily in the morning that is the thing you have to do but if the gfr is even lower so let's say less than 30 milliliter per minute then we don't give it at all so then eucreas is contraindicated please notice because there are uh, some contraindications that are very important we will discuss that soon uh, with what can we combine eucreas we can combine it with for example a sulfonyl urea or an insulin so we have then uh, vildagliptin, metformin and sulfonyluria. This is a triple therapy you, as you hear. Then we can have vildagliptin, metformin and insulin. You see this is a triple therapy. So we give one eucreas together with an insulin or one eucreas with a sulfonyluria. And therefore it's uh, important that you always start with metformin and then you add this vildagliptin on top of that. That is together with the other one. Let's look at uh, some side effects. So you will take this uh, medication and then you can get some side effects, some general side effects. There are many, there are many, many, many side effects that you can get, but I will focus on the most commonly uh, cited or the most commonly, uh, most common side effects that the patient complains about. For example, they will come to you and they will say, I have headache, I have dizziness, I have nausea, I have some metallic taste in my mouth, I, I get nasopharyngitis, meaning an inflammation in the nasal, na nasal region and the pharynx region, I have some abdominal, abdominal pain, I have obstipation or diarrhea. As you see, there are many, many symptoms, as you can see. I will not mention all of them, but I went from top to bottom, okay? As you saw, I went from top to bottom, and in this way, you can remember them. Uh, if you talk about contraindications, then we talked about kidney insufficiency. This is the most critical one. As we said, uh, GFR less than 30 milliliter per minute. Please never give eucreas. Please don't give metformin in these patients. So we have kidney insufficiency, but we also have insufficiency, severe insufficiency of liver or heart or lung. So you have four insufficiencies that you need to remember. Kidney, liver, heart, lung. Okay, then you have other things like metabolic, acute metabolic acidosis or lactic acidosis, which is also, by the way, a symptom that the patient can get. So lactic acidosis can also be a symptom. And if you have a history of lactic acidosis in a patient, that the patient already had lactic acidosis, this is when we talk about the pH that is very, very low. Acidosis means that the pH is less than 7.30. Five. If you have a patient with any type of pH less than that, please don't give metformin. Please don't give eucreas in these type of patients. Then we have also patients with alcoholism. As we said, insufficiency of kidney, liver, lung, heart. Liver insufficiency in alcoholism. 
when we talk about alcoholism, I remember one, one more, ang angioedema. Angioedema, that is meaning that you have ed edema, uh, you will see skin edema. Look it up, please check some pictures of angioedema. That, is, that can also be a side effect of eucleus. Okay, then also we have some other uh, co uh, contraindications that are very interesting. Um, for example, if you have to have an operation, then one day before the operation, you need to stop metformin. And as we, as we know, eucleas contain metformin. So please stop eucleas one day before the operation and wait until two days after the operation and continue with it. Other thing, you have to stop this eucleas when you need to take a contrast agent. Uh, this is when we, for example, make a CT scan or any type of MRI, and then you get an iodine contrast agent, then please stop the medication one day before, uh, and then wait two days. Okay, so after two days, you can continue with this medication. Uh, so I think this will be enough. I, I said many side effects and many contraindications. You know the doses, that's the most important one. And please uh, remember that you take this two times a day. And if the kidney insufficiency is very bad, then you only take it one time a day. So I thank you very much for listening. Have a nice day. Bye bye.